Back. If you are looking for a delicious, nutritious, plant-based food and drinks, you're going to want to check out Ginger Bee. We are joined by Chef Jenny Lawrence and mm -hmm. mixologist Tia Kearney, who are bringing a taste of Louisiana yeah. to the DMV. Welcome. Good to have you, ladies. Thanks Thank you for, for having, having us. us. All right, Jenny, what create, inspired you to create Ginger Bee? Well, I'm originally from Louisiana. And growing up, uh, my grandmother, she actually owned a Cajun Creole restaurant, but I noticed Ooh. that the food that she prepared, um, it contributed to a lot of um, chronic food-related illnesses in our community. So I wanted to create a plant-based version to kind of counter some of those chronic food-related illnesses. Yeah, okay. And you brought a lot of what you make yes, here, I did. right? Here. What are some of these dishes? So we have your Creole jambalaya here, mm. and it's paired with a side of collard greens and cornbread muffin. Mm -hmm. We also have our Cajun crab cake entree that that comes with sweet potato mash and sauteed spinach, oven fried oyster mushrooms, and our vegan baked cheddar mac and cheese. Ooh, what do you use instead of the cheese? Is that like so cashews? So it's, it's a plant-based cheese, um, okay. but I just try to make sure I use the one that doesn't have a lot of preservatives in it. Yes. So it's just a plant-based uh, vegan cheese. It's soy-free, gluten-free as well as vegan. Jeez. What made you go vegan as opposed to vegetarian? Well, or, yeah, I, you went all the way there. Yes, I, so when I learned the correlation between um, foods that were heavy in animal-based products, I just started to eliminate those foods from my diet 22 years ago. Mm -hmm. And so I was just gradually transitioning okay. to plant-based. Yeah, and now you're bringing it to the masses, yes. including some of the drinks here. Yeah, Do you yeah. put together the drinks? Yes, that I'm your so okay. excited. So we curated um, Louisiana like style drinks all of these cocktails are originated from louisiana and you know new orleans all these are our favorites okay. we have the of course the famous zazarac we have what i like to call the hurricane relief which is a very <laughs> oh, which is a very uh -huh. popular drink on bourbon street for sure and everybody knows the zazarac that's just famous for new orleans that's like their signature cocktail also we have the marie laveau everybody knows about marie laveau mm -hmm. that up there she's definitely really famous mm -hmm. and then we created our own old-fashioned but we call it the New Orleans old-fashioned bold mm -hmm. so Are it's you? it's a twist sure. on everything but the good thing about all of our drinks is that not only do they have like ginseng and lion's mane things that actually really help you but they have a great taste that make you really feel like you're mm -hmm. still enjoying a great yeah. cocktail and it's definitely like a good sipper to enjoy because mm -hmm. they would say these are non-alcoholic yes, yes. Non -alcoholic. yes. Oh, non -alcoholic. yes. which is really exciting okay. please I know that one's okay, I'll try it <laughs> Oh, please. What would you recommend next? Ooh, oh, you, yeah. So I the New you... Orleans Bold Fashion, yes. that's a play on the that's Old the Fashion, but this one. Okay. This is the Zazarac. The Zazarac, and this is the New Orleans Bold Fashion. Yes. The please mm. enjoy. Mm. Mm. Some cinnamon in there. Mm -hmm. So how do people find you guys and, and get all of this mm. deliciousness? You can find us at www.gingerbeatdc.com. Mm -hmm. We do catering, meal prep. We also do personal private chef services as well. Um, so yeah, you can just reach out to us directly via our website and submit an inquiry via the Contact Us page to let us know what you like, what services you're interested in. I see more and more of like sober curious folks yes. that are in, in, even just to be able to enjoy something that you think, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. you feel like I want a cocktail, but it's Right. It's not. It's better for you. Are you mm -hmm. seeing more and more people uh, every day? Absolutely. Every day. And given that it's Alcohol Awareness Month, um, I had a family member who had to come to alcohol addiction, and so that just really rang home for me. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. my mother as well. She actually passed away from breast cancer, and with my mm -hmm. research, I started to realize or notice that there were um, a, a, an um, correlation between yeah. women who consumed higher numbers of alcohol or higher amounts of alcohol during the week, they had a higher risk of reproductive cancers. So that was just mm. enough for me to just say, you yeah. know what, I'm just not yeah. gonna drink. Done with it. And yes. it's been over a decade since I've had alcohol. Yeah, to be able to yeah. share this with other people and maybe don't know where to start or how to try it. Absolutely. Call you. And, and, yes, and it's a great way to yeah. kind of marathon drink with your friends because sometimes yeah. people yeah. wanna kind of keep day. up with the yeah. crowd. And or right. there's something you else to do in the exactly. afternoon. Exactly, so you can have like one yeah. real one then sneak in, you know what I mean, a non-spirit and you can kind of keep up with the crowd, so it's a great addition. Congratulations, Congratulations, ladies. Thank, Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank for you more for on Ginger Beat, head over to their website, gingerbeatdc.com.